Okay, so today I want to show you guys a great egg cure recipe. Uh, this works great for skeins or single eggs. Uh, this is a really easy cure, works great, better than a lot of the commercial cures I've used. Um, basically one quart water, one cup kosher salt, one cup white sugar, one cup powdered borax. Add everything to the water and uh, turn the heat on. You want to bring it up to a boil and stir, dissolve everything. Once you hit boil, um, you're going to turn off the heat and let it cool down. And I add some ice cubes you're going to see here to help it cool down faster. Uh, the difference, uh, we're going to do skeins today, so I'm going to let them soak about a half hour. Uh, with the single legs, you only want to let them soak about 10 minutes. Uh, other differences with the skeins, I'm going to let them dry 24 hours overnight on racks in the fridge. If you're doing single legs, only let them go a couple hours dry and, or else they're going to shrivel up. And please leave us a like and consider subscribing and help us grow the channel. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to add some ice. You can't do too much because you don't want to throw your ratio off. But throw some in there. That'll help cool us down. And uh, we're going to get the skeins ready. Here's our eggs. These are out of the salmon we caught on the... Uh, the pier fishing video. So we're going to split these skeins open and quarter them up and get them ready to go in. Here we've sliced up our skeins and the cure solution is cool so they're ready to go in. Uh, here you can add some food coloring is what I'm using just some orange and red or you could use an egg dye um, whatever you'd like to use uh, but you can see with the finished product at the end of the video um, this orange and red colored up the eggs pretty nicely. That would give the, brighten the eggs up a little bit, give it some nice color. So, that's it, here we go. Push them in there and we're gonna leave them soak in here for about a half hour and uh, then we'll come back all of our eggs are in the cure now uh, we got the timer set 24 minutes left um, every so often we want to give these a little stir too um, just kind of move them around make sure everything's getting coated evenly by the brine um, so make sure you're doing that giving them a little stir let's say at least probably every 10 minutes as they are curing okay so our brining time is done and uh, we're gonna lay these out on um, I just took some baking pans and uh, line them with foil and we have some wire cooling racks um, we're going to lay the skeins onto this and put them in the refrigerator overnight uh, it's going to allow air underneath and above airflow it's going to let them uh, dry out the rest of the way before we can finish them up so just kind of pull one out here let the excess drip off it and lay it on a rack. So we'll keep doing that till we get them all laid out. Got them all laid out on our cooling racks, on our baking sheets, and these are going to go into the fridge now and sit overnight to let them drain off and dry out. So the eggs have been sitting in the fridge for 24 hours basically and on these racks to dry this is two racks worth I had them spaced out so they weren't touching but they're real nice right now they're perfect um, all cured up a little sticky not too bad but nice and firm so we're gonna cut these into usable size chunks and sprinkle a little more borax on them and bag them up 
we used our scissors to cut these into usable size pieces. Um, basically they're ready to go. I'm just going to sprinkle them with a little more borax and then we're going to package them up. Um, probably going to put them in vac seal bags. I think at this point they should be tough enough to handle that. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little more borax on them. Work that into them a little bit and then uh, we'll package them up. You can also wrap them in saran wrap and put them into Ziploc baggies. That works fine too. And uh, that's basically it. So we got them cut into pieces, uh, sprinkled some extra borax on them and we packed them into these vac seal bags. These are quart vac seal bags. And uh, what I'm going to do is just sit these in the freezer just like this. Obviously we haven't sealed the bags yet. And uh, I'm going to leave them in the freezer overnight and just let the eggs freeze right up, harden up. And then uh, once they do that, I'm going to go ahead and vac seal the bags. Um, so that way we don't crush our eggs. And uh, that's the plan. So I'm going to leave these sit overnight. Thing is, I want to be able to store them for a while if I need to. Not sure how long it's going to be before I'm able to use these. Hopefully it's not too long, but I want to make sure that they'll store for a long time if I need them. So That's the plan. Just pulled the eggs out of the freezer. They were in there overnight. Uh, they're all hardened up. See that? So we can go ahead and uh, vac seal them without damaging our skein. Um, and we should be good to go. Just going to run them in the vacuum sealer here and throw them back in the freezer and we can pull a package out anytime we need them and go fishing. Cut them into about golf ball size, I would say, clusters. That's about what you want to do. And again, uh, scissors work good for cutting your skein up because they seem to burst less eggs doing that than you do. You can do them with a knife too, but scissors seem to slide between the eggs a little better. So we're going to vacuum seal them up and that'll be it. Hey yo, you see that big white shark over there? Say what?